Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show iPadOS 16 on my iPad mini 5th generation. So here I have the 5th generation iPad mini with me and I have installed iPadOS 16 yesterday with the developer beta and here you can see it running and there are not many changes with the iPadOS 16 especially for the devices which are running the A series chip and now the M1 chip has put to good use. So this is the developer beta that I have installed on all the devices and the first disappointment that we got was with iOS 16 we got a complete overhaul of the lock screen but that is not present with the iPad. So as you can notice on my iPhone so I got this uh, notification center upgrade and the lock screen upgrade so both of them they are not present on any iPads so it's not there on even on the M1 iPads and there is no change for the home screen or the widget layout or there is no live widgets or something that we were expecting. So just to be sure I even double checked it so I went into the focus settings so where I had the option to have a different lock screen for a different focus mode so that's also not available here so only option is you can change the home screen layout the apps or the widgets that you show on the home screen but if you see on the iOS 16 you have a separate lock screen for a different focus mode so that is not present on the iPad so maybe we can expect it with the iPad OS 17 next year so that's the case and also I was expecting some kind of low power mode or the battery percentage the battery health percentage so that's also not there so now let's see what we got so the biggest change is the weather application so now we finally have a dedicated weather application for ipad and it's really great so it works with even the previous generation ipads also so it's not exclusive to m1 like the other features like we are going to talk in some time but still there is no calculator application so maybe we get it in ipad os 17 who knows the star of the show was stage manager so this is exclusively for the m1 ipads so what it basically does is you get a resizable windows so with the ipad os normally like you can have two windows side by side but here we can have resizable windows so i'll show it in mac os and i'll leave a link below in the description for this particular video also and now when you connect your ipad to external display so you can completely use it as a mac so you can use different applications on different screens and again this is exclusively for the m1 ipads but there are few nifty features which are from the iOS 16 so it's there on the iPadOS 16 as well so once you send a text you can edit it so you can click on that and click on edit and then you can edit your text so iMessage has done it much faster than Twitter and also we can uh, remove this so once you click on it and if you undo it will get removed so you can remove the message and there will be a certain text over there uh, reminding like you have deleted something so the other person will ask again and there is again these same features with the mail again you can undo mail and also uh, all these features which is available and with the family sharing photos so you can uh, automatically share the photos with your family members rightly from the camera app and now there is a fitness application so I'm not sure if it is just for the fitness plus so yeah it's for fitness plus but a health application on the ipad would have been really great so with all the details and information that we get on a full screen and the home application again it's redesigned same as the ios 16 so you get a different layout for speakers for lights so that's really great and like you can change your home and i mean like you can uh, do all these settings so it's a complete overhaul for the apple home app so if you are into the ecosystem you will really enjoy this and next we have these intelligent features so which i have covered in the ios review so i'll leave a link below in the description for this as well and then there is some applications which allows you to customize the buttons or the layouts that uh, are existing so you can change that and there is an application called freeform which we will be getting it soon so it's really great if you have an apple pencil I'm surprised to see the iPad 5th generation with the A9 chip get the iPad OS 16 but not the iPhone 7 with the A10 chip and here you can notice most of the AI changes are for A12 and above and most of the desktop class things are for M1 and above.
So the performance with the iPad mini 5th generation is really great with iPadOS 16. It's almost similar to what we had with the iPadOS 15. So let's uh, just compare that. I mean like we'll run this Geekbench test with uh, so with uh, iPadOS 15 earlier I got around 1100 and 2800 so this is the same exact score with the iPhone 10R I would say and it's almost in line and right now I'll be running this Geekbench test so I'll close all the applications and on iPadOS 16 let's see how is the performance so is there any degradation or something like that so there is a slight bit of thing so it's 1100 but 2800 in iPadOS 15 and 2700 in the iPadOS 16 so is it good to get the iPad mini 5th generation now I would say no the design is kind of old so with the 6th generation iPad mini it's got a, a complete overhaul of the design but again there is no m1 chip but there is two demographic of people so if you are using it as a computer or your main device so then you would require the m1 chip and all those uh, new advanced features but if you are using it for content consumption or something uh, light or some web browsing or mail or something like that so this ipad mini and the size is really perfect for carrying around so you can go with the sixth generation ipad mini so there is no issues with that but again you don't get those pro features so if you need that you should upgrade it for the m1 with the ipad air or the ipad pro and maybe the next seven generation ipad mini would get the m1 chip so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace